All right, Capricorns, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope that you're all doing well today. Please keep in mind that these are general readings. Their messages will not resonate for everyone, so take what does and leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit to your story if it doesn't, okay? Just continue to check back, and you'll find which uh, messages are yours and aren't, right, as they come up. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you guys so much. You're amazing. If you are brand new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Please go ahead, hit subscribe and stay with us, okay? Um, it's, it'd be great to have you. And I'm trying to grow the community, so let's do this. Also, if you'd like a private reading that's specific to your own situation, please feel free to book one, and you can find the link to my website in the description box below. And as such, we're going to get into this. I'm just coming into the energy here, dear spirits. Please only allow through messages through me that will help those in need of them today, messages that they need to hear and what it's regarding. And please keep it honest and loving so that I can pass on these messages the way that you would do so. Thank you, Spirit. For Capricorns, what's happening in your love lives, Cappies? Capricorns. Capricorns, you're probably focusing on work. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, karma is kicking my ass. Is this the person that you're dealing with? Did they do something wrong? Because whatever it is, they're not happy with themselves. Or this could be you. Karma could be kicking your butt. It says, you are my best friend. So did something happen here? Were you with someone for a long while? And then... I don't know. You just made a mistake. You made an oopsie. I did some research on Twin Flames. Resonates. Yeah, somebody's sorry. Somebody is very sorry here. And for what? I don't know. And somebody really misses you. They miss the conversations that used to be had. They miss being able to spend time with each other. They miss the stability that either you brought to them or that they brought to you. Okay? So let's see, what, what is the overall energy of this reading, please, Spirit? What's going on? Eight of Cups, somebody walked away. Somebody may have not felt contentment in their relationship, and maybe they just decided that they needed to go on a little soul journey. Maybe they thought that the grass was greener and they were looking for more outside of what the relationship was giving them at the time. Maybe some of them either you or them, felt that there was something more that they needed to be doing or something more that they needed to, to get to or a place they needed to get to. Maybe some of you moved, which could very well be the case. But the thing is, is that the Eight of Cups and in another deck of mine, some of the cups are knocked over. It just means somebody that, you know, uh, they abandoned someone and they really hurt them and they didn't really care. It, it was just... They kind of were all about themselves in the moment. It can also speak to abandonment, though, or abandoning plans, walking away, letting go, escapism. Somebody just may have reached a limit. Um, some may be going through some self-analysis right now and self-discovery, especially when you have this karma's mass card coming up, right? So someone could be withdrawn at the moment because they're looking deeper and they're looking for the truth or they're experiencing loneliness. Some may have left a bad situation, and some are trying to find some emotional strength right now, or trying to find some courage, because they're feeling fatigue and weariness, okay? So, <sighs> somebody walked away, and maybe it was just because they were tired of the relationship. Maybe things were just so bad in it that it was just too much. If you're single at the moment, it could just indicate loneliness and being wary of getting into a new relationship, right? But usually it speaks to abandonment issues, perhaps due to a bad past relationship or abandonment by a parent that are preventing you from believing in love or trusting people that you're in relationships with. So that could have been why you walked away. You may have gotten scared, or maybe that's why they walked away. They got scared. They got scared that you were going to leave them. So psychologically, what did they do as a defense subconsciously? 
they pushed you away before you could do it to them because that's how their thought process worked and they couldn't deal with the pain. There we go. There's that world card, the ending, as well as the hanged man, right? So definitely somebody was going through something here and it ended the relationship. But somebody is also reflecting here because that hanged man talks about getting a new perspective on things, really rising above all of their inner turmoil to get to a place where they can see things differently. And as such, they're learning lessons. They're completing the cycle. Someone's learned a valuable lesson here. Someone has really learned a valuable lesson here. And I really feel that they're sorry. I really feel that they're sorry, Capricorns, or that you're really sorry. Didn't I say about learning, there's that wisdom. Perhaps your partner was older than you or you're older than your partner. Someone was older and wiser. Um, but also, this is really about self-growth. After a time of being apart, some could be dealing with a Virgo. But after taking some time and going within, there's a, a deeper wisdom, especially from the self-reflection. And that's why some have grown here even to a spiritual level where they're actually even exploring what this connection is by looking at things like twin flames or um, soulmates. They're, they're trying to really understand why this connection is so strong. In the recent past, we have the Fool. Look at all these major arcanas. You have four. Four of them coming up all at once. What the heck is going on with you guys? You're really in a deep, transformative state. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, the Fool, usually it speaks to somebody who is non-committal, okay? But it speaks to innocence, freedom, originality, adventure, travel, foolishness, carelessness, idealism, youth, spontaneity, lack of commitment, new beginnings, okay? So it's talking about being on a new adventure now, and that would make sense because when one cycle closes out, that's the end of the fool's journey for some lesson. And now they start again, brand new and fresh, okay? So... For those in relationships, it could mean that you're just so in love that you can hardly contain your excitement, but I don't know. I think this is talking about just, tr you're, you're trying to move forward, but your past is holding you back. Your past is holding you back because you really did love that person, and I think you want a new beginning with them. And you don't know if they will allow you back, that you don't know if they'll invest in the relationship anymore or in the situationship. And I think that that's why you're having some issues here with this karma. Ooh, it could be dealing with a karmic partner. So right now, defensive, defensive energy. Not feeling good, but willing to fight for what you want, although you may be too defensive at this point in time or the person you're dealing with is too defensive at this point in time to let any of these walls down so they're being stubborn and rigid because of the fights because of the pain that was caused that I'm getting a real sense of I need to protect myself right now so someone feels like they need to protect themselves and maybe that's because somebody tried to come back in the recent past and someone turned them down so maybe they're just feeling the pain of rejection now and they don't know whether they should keep trying. They don't know if they should pull away. It's very complicated, this. Not knowing really what to do. What's this Seven of Wands, please, Spirit? Yeah, see? Queen of Swords. What did I tell you? And whoever you... Maybe you were dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, possibly. But whoever it was didn't say very nice things. They were actually quite mean and cruel. Okay? So maybe you guys were having discussions and it was just a really harsh ending. It was just, you know what? No. And then they, they unfortunately did not say some nice words, which has now put up a wall around the other person. So apply this energy however you will. But right now, yeah, we're looking at some wounding right now. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe as well, 
it was somebody was in a, maybe you guys got into a big row and because you got in this fight, somebody said some really harsh things, things that can't be taken back. And maybe that's what someone's feeling really bad about right now because they want to be, they, they feel foolish for what they did and they're sorry. I keep getting, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign. So that's Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. And this is coming up in your near future. So this speaks to having a vision for yourself and going for it, being bold and being brave and being enthusiastic. Now this type of person as well doesn't like their freedom being infringed upon. So that's also very important to know. Um, because if so, then they're not happy. But I think that what spirit is trying to tell you for the future is get into this energy of having a vision for your life. Otherwise, this unhappiness is going to continue to follow you. You got to move forward. You got to move forward. Because that Ten of Cups speaks to unhappy homes, unhappy home life, unhappy families, and the magician. Yeah, it's down to somebody not feeling that they have the power to make this work. But in all honesty, if you draw on this energy, whether it's somebody that you want to go back to, I mean, you can keep trying, but I don't know if, if this is completely done now or not. Only you'll know that deep down. But even still, I see in the near future that you might just be a little grief stricken still for a little while. And some of you who may have ended up with the person, maybe if there was cheating involved, if you did it or they did it, maybe they ended up with a person and now that's the karma that they're getting. They're getting somebody who is making their life miserable, right? And unfortunately, they've got the regrets. They really have the regrets for what's been done here. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. Crazy Capricorn, it's just crazy. Let's get you some guidance from Spirit. Spirit, what have you got to say in this situation for the Capricorns? Be honest with yourself. There you go. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. So Spirit is saying, you know, if this was you in this situation, that the only way we can heal is to just be honest with ourselves. We have to accept that, yeah, we made mistakes, but that's how we learn. Otherwise, you, you don't learn and you can't move forward and you don't get wiser. Mistakes are part of it, right? You can't keep beating yourself up. That's what this is saying. No more beating yourself up. Yeah, okay, there could have been a mess up. But also, it comes with more wisdom and understanding. The more we fall down, the more we get back up, and we're able to look at the past to say, okay, you know what? I could have done this better, or I could have done that better. But there is that lesson, and you can take it with you into the next thing, right? But if we, into the next situation. But if we stay stuck, then we don't implement the lessons that needed to be learned. And we continue recreating this pattern and it will continue to happen until we do learn. But now you've got an opportunity to put things right for yourself or that other person has an opportunity to put things right for themselves. Here is your postcard from spirit. Dearest you, there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things. Happens to everyone. Something feels familiar but sort of off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away that map you're using, which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. That isn't what you need to do right now. Instead, take a deep breath and open to the truth. Wow. A desire to stay in denial means that a part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that's shown up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. What did I say about the school card? By the way, you will always have a get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. Didn't I say that? Holy, you can't make this up. You have this opportunity, Kathy's, to do things again. 
and you don't have to punish yourselves for the rest of your life. But we do have to learn from our lessons, right? Otherwise, we'll, we'll, we'll stay stuck. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. What did I say? Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on, special one. A beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. Isn't that the truth, though? And trust me, I can promise you this, too. If any of you have, you know, if you have stumbled along the way, let's not get into this defensive energy. Let's actually go within and heal it. Let's go within and learn from it. There's nothing wrong. That is courageous and that is bold and brave. Okay, Cappies? I am sending you so much love and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend. This reading was a little heavy. It really was. But Spirit felt that this was an important message that somebody out there needed to hear. So I really hope that it helps. And I hope that you don't feel judged or criticized because honestly, no. We all go through this. Even the postcards that happens to everyone, all right? But it's always good to look at our part in that situation because otherwise, we'll just stay stuck in the same garbage. We'll keep repeating. All right. Sending you so much love. Have a great one. Bye, guys.